Hello everyone and welcome to the channel today. We are heading down south because we are going to pay a little visit to Diddley Squat Farm Shop. But I thought it'd be quite cool to take the camera to see what it's like on Clarkson's farm. I hope you enjoyed the video. There might be another couple of things we get up to whilst we're down there. But if you could, please just tap that subscribe button. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers guys. Right, quick fuel station stop. Jose, have you had a trump? Ah, uh, yeah, that's why you're looking so suspicious. <laughs> So we're almost there, aren't we? So, yeah. just a little farm. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, the audio cut out and we missed this bit out. So we're pretending we're almost there, but we've already got there. So bear with us, and we'll see you when we pull in. We made it, so Jackie Joe's. She's settling in. I think first things first, we need to take you on a walk, don't we? Although I think she's fairly distracted right now. She loves the ball. He's a bit bigger than all of us. Right, buddy. Away from the lambing shed, away from the lambs, just for a rest. First one we find, using lambs. There's also donkeys too. I've never actually really seen donkeys before, apart from soaps. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice, oh, nearly fell over. <laughs> that was a nice little walk, was yeah. it, Joe? So the plan is now, we're gonna leave you to it, guys. We're gonna catch up tomorrow when we're gonna go down to Clarkson's farm, aren't we, Soph? And they do a little breakfast here in their cafe, so that should be quite good too. But yeah, nice little walk, wasn't that, Joe? They've got some Shropshire sheep. They've even got some disc golf, which might we got. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. <laughs> right, guys, it is the morning after. I wasn't planning on doing any videos while we walked Josie again, but while the ewes in the fields had lambs, and I've just realised I'm a silly boy. They're Oxfordshire's, not Shropshire's, aren't they? Oh, I'm not a clever farmer, but I'll, I'll flip this round so you can see. Breakfast time. Right guys, so it's early in the morning and we're ready to actually go to Clarkson's farm now. We had a lovely breakfast at where we're staying, didn't we? There's a nice yeah. little cafe. And Josie had some bacon and some <laughs> toast too, so she's very snoozy, aren't you? We're going on a long walk in a bit. But plan is going to go down to Clarkson's farm, get there before the crowds get in. You looking forward to it? Yeah. It's only a little farm shop, but it'd be quite cool to see what it's actually like, won't it? Yeah, you've got to see it while we're here. Oh yeah, but it's only like five minutes away, so we've got to see it. in there so any I went in because we didn't really want to take Josie in and wrap the place did we say? <laughs> no. Cheers mate thank you. Well we've tucked in for hot chocolate and coffee. The plan was we were going to get some stuff out there but they didn't have a bobble hat which I came for so we've got a case of <laughs> lager which we're going to try later aren't we. There is a bar here but it's half ten in the morning so maybe not the best idea to have a lager right now is it? And uh, what's your favourite breed of dog? 
trip done, guys. You all right, Joe? You enjoy it? If you care. I reckon that's about right. There you go. Look after the beer for me. Well, what's the best way to describe that, so? Cold. Yes, it is. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> it's like two degrees outside. Oh, well, we can say now we've been to Diddly Squat. Yeah. It's nothing too big, to be honest, guys. It's very exciting. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a nice little cafe outside. They're the bar. It's a tiny little farm shop, but it's just nice. To be fair, more than this, it's probably the people it brings into this area, isn't it? Yeah, but I know people that live here and they hate it. Yeah, but <laughs> we've been planning this now. I think we're going to go to Dalesford, which is like a huge version of that. Hmm. And they've got a nice little dog walk. So that is the plan. Cool to have a look around, see where we've been, but it's just a little farm shop, to be fair. Right guys, we just made it down to Dalesford. I was going to come over and show you the sheep in the field, but they're in the shed below me, so that's not ideal. I was going to tell you a fun fact. I sold three tups to JCB Farms this year, and they are linked to Dalesford down here. So there's two farms. So some of the genetics on this farm, they won't be this year because I sold the tups in the autumn. Eventually, we'll see some of the clean genetics from our farm. So I thought that was quite cool. Do they only have clins? Well, at the Utox the following they went, they had a lot of clins, but I think they also had, was it Rylands or South Downs or something like one of the woolly hair breed that they crossed with them, so. Yeah. You're on the nosy? Yeah. So we're just down at the herd of Holstein cattle, so. I thought they were Frisians. You're right, they, were, they are Frisians, you yeah. Said, you laughed at me because I didn't know what they were. <laughs> so there's about 110 here, I think, and they've been paddock grazed. I don't know how well you can see, but there are posts like that. There's a post on the other side, and what they'll do, they'll graze one patch, then the next, and the next. And by doing that, they actually utilise the grass a lot better. And as these are organic, these don't get any corn or anything like that, like cars do. They're literally just off grass. Really interesting here, guys, because this is actually organic. And organic means that they can't use any artificial sprays or fertilizers. So if you see, if there's any thistles and stuff like that, if we were at home, we would be able to spray them off with chemicals. But here, they can't use chemicals. They can, you can just use natural ways of getting rid of them. So you can graze them down hard, try and harrow them out and stuff like that. But it's quite cool, so a different system. And those cows look really well. So what's the difference between Holsteins and... So, you they were so basically Holsteins and Frisians are both black and white breeds of cattle for dairy. So they're quite similar, but Holsteins are basically just a bigger version. So they're a taller breed, a bit bigger, and they produce more milk. That's about as far as my dairy knowledge goes. Those are even loads? Is that what you think? I'd guess, even load, yeah. Sounds <laughs> right. No, don't video this. Well, I don't think we're going to get any closer to sheep than now. First sheep we see of the day, all the tops are over there about a field across off the footpath. Right, so that's the walk done. Now we're going to have a little bit of a look around, see what they've got inside. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Right, so that is our trip to Dalesford all done. We've come away with a couple of souvenirs, aren't we, Soph? We've got two donuts and some pasta. Yeah. That bag's quite cool. Look at the bag. But we can't really afford too much else, else we'd have to remortgage the house, won't we? <laughs> Literally, there's a knife and fork set that were like £1,000. Yeah, that was really Yeah. You right, JJ? But yeah, just need to get Joe set at the back. Good we'll good. catch up with you. We're in the car. Thank you. Oh yeah, they look good. They're proper donuts. <laughs> Next stop on our Cotswolds journey, we're headed off to the Woodchester Valley Vineyard, situated within the beautiful rolling Stroud Valleys of the Cotswolds. A family-run vineyard specialising in sparkling wines and we are soon to find out why. We started off with a tour of the vines. This is where the whole process starts and the grapes are grown. At Woodchester they have 56 acres of vines over three sites, specifically aiming to produce white and sparkling white wines. It's a very labour-intensive process with all the vines being managed completely by hand. After a trip around the vines, we then move over to where the wine is processed and made. 
First of all, we took a look around the press where the grapes are pressed to make juice, which is then made to make the wine. Fun fact of the day, the waste skins go to livestock feed. After that, the grape juice is transported into these huge fermentation vessels where it is left to ferment, basically age and build up alcohol content. Although with sparkling wine, there is one extra step. Sparkling wine is fermented further in the bottle to create that fizz that we all know and love. With regular wine, it can be aged in oak barrels to create that extra depth and flavor. Now for the best bit, me and Soph are gonna taste some wine. <laughs> right guys so it's the morning after the night before that we went on that vineyard tour i've got to say that is one of the best tours i've ever been on and you really enjoyed it too oh yeah i loved it Oh, we definitely recommend if anyone hasn't been on a vineyard tour something a bit different and you should you'd really enjoy it even those people that aren't like wine lovers it's one of those things that is just really interesting we got to look at all the vines so what all the like grapes are grown on then we had a look at the factory how all the wine is made how it's bottled all the cool stuff like that and the best bit really was we got to try the wine so they were specialists in sparkling wine weren't yeah. they and they also did white and occasionally they did red and they said they did that when the weather was really good. What was your favourite bit, Soph? The wine tasting. Oh. Obviously. We got like, what was it, four or five? We got four sparkling wines. Yeah. We got to try them all. Uh, Soph's normal favourite is like a rosé one, like pink sparkling. Yeah. They had this really nice white one, didn't they? Yeah, it was lovely. But um, yeah, incredible experience. I will put the link in the description of the place we went to because uh, we would definitely recommend, won't we? And we, pro we might go back again because it was that good. So yeah, that was last night. And plan is today, we are off on another adventure. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Well, good morning, everyone. It's the final morning of the video. We're just taking Josie for a morning walk. It is a little bit frosty this morning, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Originally, the plan was to just show you guys Clarkson's farm, but then we found a few other things that I thought would be interesting on the channel, especially that vineyard tour. That was really interesting. And then Dales for two, that was an incredible farm shop. That was just a wonderful area, really, guys. If any of you ever down in the Cotswolds, come and visit some of these places, I would definitely recommend. But as the original plan of the video, guys, was to talk about Clarkson's farm, we're just gonna do a little sum up now. Whilst walking Josie and her huge sticks, it's got a lot better with all the other stuff we're doing, by the way. Here where we stopped, disc golf. Isn't that cool? Never seen it before. But yeah, diddly squat. Um, <laughs> there wasn't much to see. There wasn't much to do. If I'm honest, it was probably, I don't know, horrible because it's done such a good thing for the local area. But it's a little farm shop. There's a nice little cafe around the back where you can get food. Um, there's all these good local produce in the shop. So he's doing really good things to support local farmers. But end of the day it's like a local farm shop there's nothing too dramatically cool about it it's just like going down to your local farm shop so would i recommend visiting i'd say no if you're just coming down to see that but if you want to see loads of other stuff in the local area there's so much to do down here i definitely recommend going to visit it and then going to visit a few other things too but yeah guys sticking to the british theme one thing i would say since i've been down here is a lot of the local shops a lot of the local businesses are very very supportive of british agriculture or small british businesses it's such a nice area to see how it could be around the whole country if it was like this around us i'd be very proud of our area like it's incredible what people are doing so i'd just like to say a massive thank you for watching this video guys i really appreciate it if you could please tap that like button subscribe to the channel all that jazz i really appreciate all of that unfortunately so it's not with me for the walk but she says thank you too and i'll leave you with some incredible shots 
of Blenheim Palace. Cheers guys and thank you for watching. Face off. No interest.